Okay, so in this lecture, we're going to talk about the key differences between corporate finance and project finance in a crystal clear manner. So we're going to present the key differences in a very organized fashion. All right, so first off, let's start with the borrower. First difference. In corporate finance, the borrower is a company that could be multi-purpose. Let's say we have a company that has two lines of business and it's now looking to develop its third line of business. To do that, it will go and borrow money from a lender to finance the development and expansion of its third line of business. And when the moment to repay its debt comes, it can repay its debt from whatever money it wants. It can repay its debt from the first line of business or the second line of business. It truly doesn't matter. That's the key difference between project finance and corporate finance. In corporate finance, the company borrows money, does whatever it wants with the money, and then repays it from whatever cash flows that it generates. In project finance, that's not the case. We don't have line of business A, line of business B, line of business C. We just have one focus, one concentration, one line of business. And that's the project itself, the infrastructure project, the capital intensive project that the state wants to develop, that the city wants to develop. That's it. That's the focus. There is no borrowing to develop a new line of business and we repay it from a different cash flow. It doesn't happen like that in project finance. In project finance, the repayment of the debt will depend upon the cash flows generated by that one project. So we borrow, we, f we build, operate, and then we generate cash flows, and then we repay the debt. That's how it works in project finance. It's a single purpose vehicle. In corporate finance, the company is a multi-purpose organization. Okay, so that's the first key difference. Now on to the second key difference. It's the risk. When a lender comes and lends money to a corporation, they need to focus on its credit rating, on its credit history. When a lender comes and lends money to a special purpose company, they know that the project finance structure is different from the traditional corporate structure. So as we discussed previously, the only thing that those lenders can do is to ask for a security package. So they ask for this security package. It's a defense mechanism. It's a way for lenders to put pressure on sponsors and make sure that they have vested interest in the project. That's it. That's how they protect themselves. Now on to the third key difference, financial statements. In corporate finance, the stakeholders tend to focus more on the balance sheet and the PNL of the company. So it's more backward looking. They look at the history of the company. If it's a mature company, the past behavior of the company, the past profitability of the company gives us a good idea about its future potential, about the, its future profitability. That's how it works in corporate finance. We look at the past. And we assume that it's going to be the same in the future. In project finance, that's not the case. There is no past. The company is brand new. The project is brand new. So the focus is not towards the past, but towards the future. We have to forecast the future cash flows. So it's not backward looking like in corporate finance. It's more forward looking. That's the difference when it comes to the financial structure. One looks at the past, the other looks at the future. Corporate finance looks at the past, project finance looks at the future, looks at the future cash flows. All right, so now on to the fourth uh, difference. The financial structure. In corporate finance, companies will tend to have a traditional corporate structure like LLCs, partnerships, etc., etc., depending on the jurisdiction in which the company is. In project finance, there are no traditional structures. 
each and every project differs from the others. Remember what we said earlier. We said that project finance are highly specific projects and they are quite unique in nature. So the special purpose company has to be tailor-made and designed specifically for the project according to the re requirement of that specific project we will design the company and that's how it differs from corporate finance in corporate finance we have some common structures like llc's partnerships etc etc in project finance it's not the case it's complex and it's tailor-made that's it now on to the fifth difference liability in corporate finance it's a direct lending from the lender to the company and the more the company borrows the more it impacts its debt capacity in project finance project debt is typically held on the level of the spv so we have this spv who is indebted and the debt is not consolidated on the balance sheet of the shareholders. It's this special purpose vehicle who is borrowing from the lenders. It's this special purpose vehicle who is indebted. It's not the shareholders. That's the key difference. And that's so important because it reduces the project's impact on the shareholders' debt capacity and on their cost of debt. So the shareholders are free to use their debt capacity for other investments. They don't have to worry about the level of debt that exists at the SPV level. Okay, so that's very important and it's a key characteristic of project finance. It's always important to remember that projects in project finance, they are isolated entities that were created to finance, build and operate long-term capital intensive projects. So the project is isolated from the shareholders. It's isolated from the sponsors, the shareholders who are going to manage the project. It's isolated from everyone. It's an independent structure. And that's the key difference between corporate finance and project finance in terms of liability. So it can be very indebted, but it doesn't impact the balance sheet and the finances of the shareholders. In corporate finance, it's not the case because it's the company who borrows. So the more it borrows, the more it impacts its debt capacity and project finance there is an independent structure that was created for the purpose of the project and it's that structure who's going to be indebted. So yeah, it's unique in nature and that's how we isolate the risk uh, from the shareholders. All right, so that was it for the key differences between corporate finance and project finance in a very structured manner. And now on to the next lecture.